Hello guys, it is your boy Vendetta. Today we are going to be having a look at the ugly and much unloved revolver case. We will be exploring whether or not the case is an uncut gem and whether or not it can triple in price. Having said that, a fellow YouTuber named Shadows made a similar video back in March on this topic. So make sure that you check out his video, but after you watch my video of course. But firstly, if you're a part of the 94% or so of viewers who are not subscribed yet, please do so as it is free and is a great investment decision. If you have already subscribed, thanks for your support and I hope you enjoy this video. Anyways, enough of the boring stuff, let's get started. A lot of people hate on this case, but is it as bad as they say? Well, let's check out the numbers. Thanks to it being cheap in price and the rare special item, items being the OG knives, the return on investment when opening this case is almost 75%. This is actually the third highest after the OG weapon cases 2 and 3. Also, despite the hate and questionable quality of the gun skins, the actual ROI is quite decent compared to even more expensive cases like the Gamma and Glove case. Speaking of the gun skins, let's take a look at the covert skins. The Royal Paladin is not the best looking M4A4 in the game, but it looks like the stat track version is selling up to $490. So maybe there is a niche market for it. Then we have the R8 Revolver Fade. It looks good, but practically no one uses that gun seriously, especially since Valve nerfed it to death. If for some crazy reason Valve chooses to buff this gun in the future, then this skin could be worth a lot of money, but I highly doubt Valve wants to get back into that mess again. Now let's check out the classified or pink skins. The AK-47 Point Disarray is easily my favourite gun skin in the case. Its bright colours and sharp edges look nice, especially compared to the darker AK skins out there. Then we have the Executioner, cool name but pretty bad looking skin, especially for a pink. I'm not sure who these people are who are paying close to $140 for a stat track version of this DAC DAC. Finally we have the Shape Wood. This is possibly the ugliest skin I've ever seen in my life. It looks like something straight out, straight out of the 1970s. Finally let's check out the restricted skins. Honestly, I must admit, I kind of like the Negev Power Loader and the Tiger Moth. If I was looking to buy a Negev or an SSG, I might consider getting them. The other purples I don't really rate, but the Field Rod looks cool I guess. The knives in this case are of course the OG knives in the OG finishes. As mentioned in my previous video, they are found in the 11 cases but all of the other cases have either been discontinued or are now confirmed rare. Now let's check out the Price Talker EU data for volumes and listings for the last 90 days. Here you can see that at the beginning of the year there were close to half a million listings. This then declined and is sitting at just under 250,000 marks. During the same period, you can see that the volumes have been fairly consistent, except for a few spikes in which looks like it had reduced the listings on the marketplace and increased its rarity. I sus suspect this was due to investors stockpiling the items and probably not from people opening the cases themselves. Speaking of investors, let's check out the price history. In early March, apparently the price was as low as 4 US cents, then peaked at 9 cents. So it doubled in about a month's time. However, since then, it has pulled back a little bit. Having said that, I don't think that this case will drop back to 4 US cents again, unless Valve does something big like drops a sale or investors start dumping their stock. So can the price triple? Well given that the case was selling at 4 US cents in early March and the ROI is one of the highest, I could easily see it going to 12 US cents in the near future, as I expect that this case has caught the eye of investors and speculators like myself. Recently I bought 100 of them 
and I have placed a buy order for another 50 but I think I might need to up my bid to match a seller. Crazy thing about this case is that it is the oldest case in the active non-prime drop pool and therefore it is entirely possible that it could get moved to the rare drop pool as early as next month if Valve releases a new case of course. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.